All right, it is time for me to learn some more Finnish sayings, slang, and idioms. We are going back onto the Swami Dictionary Instagram account where they put up a bunch of these um, pictures which have the sayings and they break them down for poor, unsuspecting foreigners like me. It's a really great Instagram account, but they haven't posted in a little while, but there's still plenty for us to check out. Like the first one we're gonna look at today. Give the gloves. Anta rukkaset. So here you can see I have covered up the explanation. I'm gonna try and guess what this means and then reveal. Maybe I'll actually keep score this time. I always say that I get points, but I never actually <laughs> keep the score. The first thing I thought of was the boxing term when a boxer retires and they hang up the gloves. I'm also thinking that maybe it means to surrender or to give up. I, I'm gonna go with that that it means to give up and I was wrong this is a very specific thing it's to reject a marriage proposal and actually over here in the caption they have said apparently women did used to give gloves to the men whose proposals they had turned down that's quite that's quite Finnish I have to say like to avoid confrontation you know uh, I don't want to marry you but here's some gloves <laughs> Asia on pihvi the matter is a steak. Oh, I have no idea. And now all I'm thinking about is, is steaks and how much I want one and how delicious they are. Is it that it's a delicious situation? I feel like this could be like a mistranslation from English. Like when you say people's lives are at stake, that's S-T-A-K-E. <laughs> a Finnish person heard that and got confused. Is it that it's small, thin? Oh man, I feel like I'm reading into this too much. I, I gotta put myself out of this misery. I have no idea. What Finns say when everything is clear. Why? Why is that a steak? Oh, a lot of these sayings make sense, but that one, I can't. Mm. Okay, this is a short one. Hirvita to elk. Not giving me much to go on this time, are you? Hmm. Okay, now I'm thinking of an elk. They're big, they're slow. I'm, I'm just channeling my inner elk. Yeah, no, I did. that didn't help at all. Okay, I, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go with like to take things slowly. Finnish equivalent of to frighten. The thought of having to give a presentation to all my workmates elks me. Okay, so it's like to be filled with fear. I guess elks are quite skittish and like frightened. I don't know. Wait as if waiting for the rising moon. Odotta kuin kuuta. No, Sibar. I want to say that this is about being patient. To wait for something very eagerly. Ah, so I guess it's it's almost the opposite of that. It's like if you're like a bit antsy to, to wait for whatever you're waiting for. I don't know if it's the moon connotation that I'm just thinking calm thoughts, but this sounds like a complete opposite. What a surprise. Hair pants. And that's spelled hair as in a rabbit. Yanis holes. I think my biggest mistake with, with these, I always try and think of it in the terms of uh, English. I mean, anyone that knows anything about Finnish, that is your biggest mistake. When I'm thinking about this, I'm just thinking of pants on fire, like a saying in English, which is means you, you've been lying. Liar, liar, pants on fire. It means you lie like a hare. Are, are hares considered liars? I mean, they, they jump around, that's kind of sketchy. Person who was a coward. I mean, I wasn't far away. Careful as a carrot. Tarkana kuin porkana. Is that a saying just because it, it kind of Sounds the same. Tarkana queen porkana. Quite that rolls off the tongue nicely. I like that. Careful as a carrot. It works the same actually. Careful carrot. I take back what I was saying about Finnish and English not being similar. There's one example out of millions. I didn't know that carrots were considered particularly careful vegetables. If anything, I would think they are quite you know aggressive. They're sharp and pointy. You could definitely give someone a nasty bruise if you poke someone. <laughs> I'm either thinking it's it's to be very, very, very careful, like over careful, or to be not careful at all. We're gonna say it's it's to be very, very, very careful, like extra careful. Can be used when something is being done carefully. I feel like this is more of a, a, a children's saying. I don't imagine there's many like builders on the building site, like, hey, Matti, careful as a carrot with that that drill. Queen bite ya peppo. Like a shirt and a butt. First thing that comes to my mind is that the shirt and a butt, they, they don't go together. If you try and put a shirt on your butt, you're in for a really, really bad time. So I, I'm thinking it's, it's when something doesn't quite go together. If it's not that, it should be. 
used for two people who are inseparable. Like I can understand like a shirt and a button or a butt and underwear. Shirt and a butt? Like a shirt and a butt. Or, or are they not connected at all? Is it like most people have some kind of covering on their top, a shirt, and most people have some kind of covering over their butt. Oh man, I don't know. Why do, why do I always try and overthink these things? There's never any like reasoning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a bit of a tongue twister. Queen Sienia Sotel. Like mushrooms in the rain. Straight away I'm thinking of like things growing fast. So I'm gonna go straight away and say that this is something you say about a kid that grows really quickly. How Finns describe something that's appearing rapidly. I, I've already lost the track of the points, but uh, I'm gonna give myself half a point for that. We have at least 10, 10 and a half points now. Olla kaikki kotona. Have everything at home. I think I'm starting to think too rationally about these. I was thinking like what your mum would say if you wanna get like takeout and you have everything at home. That's not very clever or a saying or anything. I got nothing. Let's see. Used negatively to indicate that someone is crazy. Wow, what? So it's kind of like the English saying of like having a sandwich short of a picnic. That's actually one of my favorite <laughs> English sayings, a sandwich short of a picnic. Karhun palvelus, bear's service. Okay, what, what can a bear do? No one else can. I mean, they're a pretty great animal. They can do a lot of things. Could it be like f to, to fillet fish? I, th I think, I mean, I'm thinking outside of the box, but I mean, the box is outside. At this point, I, I'm gonna say something to do with fish. Helping somebody with good intentions, but end up just making their situation worse. You do a bear service for your workmate if you only talk in English to him. That way he'll never learn. Finish. I feel like they made that one for me. Go where the pepper grows. At first I thought maybe that this was something about going somewhere hot or you know some kind of vacation saying and then as i said it go where the pepper grows it means to like get out of here go away or is it along the same lines as <laughs> to tell someone to put something where the sun don't shine which is up your butt i'm gonna i'm gonna say that it's a a passive aggressive way to tell someone to go away a less rude way of saying go to hell a, a point right that's 56 points and a half today. Oh man, I actually got a rush from that. This should be a sport. Loppua kuin kanan lento. End like a chicken's fight. Flight. I, was, I thought fight for, for at first. I was like, and the reason I double checked that is because I know the word lento. Hey, finish is coming in handy. Finally, let's think logically about this. Chickens can't fly very well. I think that's enough said when things don't end well. How Finns say that something is over abruptly and fast. Okay. Come on guys, is that half a point? Yeah, go on then. Nearly Christmas. Kaiva verta nenastar. Dig blood out of one's nose. Okay. Kaiva verta nenastar. I don't know why repeating it in Finnish would help me at all. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I got nothing. To pick a fight. Oh. Uh, okay, I guess if you've already got a bloody nose from the fight, you're gonna be wiping it away. Ooh. Nosta varala yalalalalala. What? Nosta varala yalala. Yalala. Get up with the wrong foot. Okay, this is, it's got to be when you start on the wrong foot. That, that's the English saying, I think, where, where you don't start something as you would have hoped. It doesn't quite go, what am I saying? I'm also thinking it could be the same as getting out of, what is it? When you get out of bed on, get out of, <laughs> Christ. Oh man, what, what is language? What is English? When you get out of, what is the saying? I got out of bed on the wrong side this morning. Some, something like that. We just don't start quite right. Bloody hell, let's get this one over with. Have a bad day from the moment you wake up. Exactly what I was trying to say. <laughs> so there we go. There was a few more Finnish sayings and idioms and expressions that I have learned today. Um, did I learn anything actually? Probably not. Am I going to use any of these in daily life? Definitely not. But uh, I had fun, so that's all that matters. There are still plenty more of these on the Swami Dictionary uh, Instagram account. Definitely go check them out if this is something that you've enjoyed. I'll leave a link in the description. You can press like on this video and that will let me know that you have enjoyed it and then I'll make more. It's 
quite simple, really. Also, you can leave me a comment if you have a favorite one from today or if you have any more information about the things that we've looked at today. Definitely leave me them in the comments. I read all of them. I try and uh, press the little heart next to all the ones that I like the most. So, yeah, leave me some leave me some comments to read. There we go. Thanks once again, guys, for watching my video. Appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you again soon. See ya.